you may have seen video of the iconic Mission Control Room, where engineers monitor space activities from Johnson Space Center in Houston. That's just one of many NASA centers and facilities across the country. They all work together to advance our missions, but each has a specific focus of interest. Let's take a look at the work at Johnson Space Center and Stennis Space Center. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Smith and I am the Internships Manager here at Johnson Space Center. So today I am here to share a little bit with you about what Johnson Space Center is. So we're going to look at where we are, what our focus is here, how you as an intern could get involved at, with JSC, and then finally where to find more information. So first, we are located in Houston, Texas. So for those of you that might not know much about Texas geography, that is in the southeast area of Texas. And so we're in a unique place here on center because we're about 30 minutes from the downtown area, which is where you could go to museums or baseball games. And then we're also about 30 minutes from the coast. So we're 30 minutes from the Gulf where you could go for a beach day or something. Um, and we have interns doing activities around the city all the time when they're not at work. So then the next part is really getting into what JSE is. So our mission statement is to lead human space exploration. And one of the main focuses there is the human aspect. So we are the home of the astronaut corps. So our goal is to make sure that astronauts are safe before, during, and after their missions, and that they're also staying healthy. And the way that we do this is by maximizing the use of the International Space Station. We're also looking at enabling the success of the commercial crew program. Then we're developing Orion for future missions. And we're pulling all of those things together to be able to um, support a human mission to Mars. So, as an intern, you're probably wondering, how can you get involved? And so we aren't looking for interns that are going to be here to just get coffee or make copies. We really want interns that are going to be um, making an impact on our mission. So I'm going to show you three examples of internships that we have posted for the fall. Um, and it's a wide variety of them. And we're really going to be focusing on what the subjects are and what the majors are that we're looking for, not necessarily the text in the middle. I know it's going to be a little bit hard to read, but you can go and view our slides also in our virtual booth. So for this first one, we're looking at a holodeck testbed software development. So we're looking for computer engineers and software engineers, as well as students studying computer science. And this is um, one of the areas that we focus heavily on here is the computer side and the software side. Then this next one is more getting into your hands-on things, so tool development. We're looking for those aerospace engineers or electrical engineers and even mechanical engineering. So those are kind of two different areas. And then our, our, the last one that I picked is in the microbiology area. So these are more of your life sciences. You're looking at biomedical engineering, biology, and your other life sciences, like maybe chemistry, for example. Um, and those are three areas that we really focus on here. But I also want to point out that just because we have a lot of STEM-related projects doesn't mean that we don't have places for people studying education or communications or even business. So if you have a passion for space, there's a place here for you at Johnson Space Center. Um, the last slide is really just a place for you to find out more information. So at the top, we have our website. Uh, don't worry about memorizing that link. You can, again, go to our virtual booth and find that there. Uh, but in, on, at this website, you can find information like an FAQ or a bucket list for what interns can do while they're here. We even have success stories of what past interns have done. And then at the bottom, we have the name of two of our coordinators. So Melissa and Courtney are going to be there to answer questions for you um, if you have them along the way, or at least point you in the right direction. And I just want to point out again, if you come and visit us at our virtual booth, you can find videos, you can find more contact information, and there will even be sometimes um, live chat set up for you to ask questions directly. So thank you for joining me, and we hope to see you here at Johnson Space Center one day.